This week on Not Your Average Fangirls. Listen to me, Wanho. Mm, I don't know how he's so big, but moves so well. Like, right. How do you do that? Yeah. Physics is not physicsicking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's officially the first day of summer, and with the summertime heat comes fun, fresh concepts like Omega X Play Dumb, Don Stupid Cool, and of course, the return of KCON LA. Also, we discuss how we feel about BTS's break, plus a special announcement of our own. Check it out! What's up, you guys? It is Not Your Average Fangirls, back with another week of K-pop news. It's your girl, Kat. You know how I'm gonna start this off. Sorry, Terika, I know it was June. <laughs> It's been another week Jesus. without Junhee. But we're getting so many signs of life from Ace. Like, they're, yes. like, out living yeah. their life. Byung Kwan posted for the first time the other day. He got a special award from his unit. Go off, King. He's so like, smart. Like, they're all together. Yet, yeah, Chani posted a picture with him in Sayun and Byung Kwan today. And I'm like, oh, my God. This is everything to me. They're posting each other on each other's stories on Instagram. And I'm <laughs> so fucking happy right now. Anyway, um, so that's the sign of lives. Also, um, Jeffrey. Whew. Ooh, Jeffrey. Yeah. Jeffrey. A problem. The Prada show. It was giving me sexy, like, happy Father's Day, Daddy. That's what it was giving <laughs> me. And I appreciate that. Wow. I was like, mm. He, mm, yeah, scrumptious. That's the literal the word. If you look up scrumptious in the dictionary, that picture of Jae Hyun at the Prada show, specifically Oof. the one that he posted on his Instagram, the selfie, yeah. the mirror picture, that would be next to it. Scrumptious, Jung Jae Hyun. Delicioso. Jeffrey. Yeah, I love this hair color on him. He Ooh, looks he, so fucking The hairstyle, good. the fit, the everything, Ooh. the energy he was bringing, like great him and Sung Kang like all buddied up and like uh -huh. to get Cute. like buddy buddy the whole time I was like oh my god like I never wanted to be sandwiched between two men so much I'm saying life. I love when like they're besties but they're hot both of them are hot oh <laughs> hot besties we love hot best friends love it hello everyone it's Terika and NCT announced a collab with Hello Kitty period and people are like speculating the like members and the characters together and they're slowly releasing like hints for each character but the one thing that has not changed through like everyone's speculations like it's been constant is Johnny and Choco yep. Cat and yes. I have like dreams really do come true I <laughs> needed that this right. week like my man <laughs> with my favorite Hello Kitty character I'm just like yes sad news is it's only a pop-up shop in Korea but ridiculous. it's fine it's fine it's fine sometimes they end up releasing things though online I hope so listen I know that there, there's that one store in in LA that they get stuff from Korea so they like they have a proxy or something yeah, oh, over yeah. there so yeah we just got I'm gonna have we're gonna have to just look online because I want that I okay want so I mean sometimes they will because the glitch mode had special like pop-up things at a pop-up shop and then like or, like maybe like a few weeks after the pop-up shop ended they ended up putting some things online um they sold out super fast I'm just assuming it was just like leftovers they had they were like mm, I guess we can sell like the 200 shirts we have left so like they sold out super fast but I guess they're that's kind of a silver lining I don't know I want it I need it Same. please I don't even know what the merch is but I want it it's like apparel yeah. uh, they have it oh. specifically like if it's gonna be like hats shirts but it just said apparel and like stationary stuff no oh my so. god no exactly my yeah my downfall both things are my downfall <laughs> exactly like, I love like pens t-shirts and pens yeah <laughs> And while we're here, and hello everybody, this is Carolina. I am also excited for that NCT Sanrio collab, and I, I need them to just give me an online shop. How dare y'all exclude the rest of the world? Like, why take our money? Also, how are you going to have um, a Korean pop-up for a Japanese origin character yeah like you know see at this yeah. point it's already international it's already an international collab <laughs> you need to make it into the rest of the world as well you get it also i saw clips of um jb's oh uh God. fan jesus con jesus thing that he christ. did and jesus christ that man is so yep. fine he is so fine that he, haircut is the one that who my god Jin Young pulled the Jin Young and <laughs> surprised everybody and showed up to the fan meet cause yeah girl that's his whole soulmate he said you think you're gonna do this without me no exactly <laughs> that's what I said Jin Young was just like you didn't want to invite me so I invited myself and I made this cake he contacted the director and said I need you to make a part where I show up <laughs> and I'm like damn he said we in the JJP thing for life okay but it was just funny seeing him so all confused Jin Young was just like you didn't invite me and J-Bone was like you were busy if not basically he was just like if you weren't busy you would have been the MC, not young jay and i'm like damn right in front of young jay young jay was probably like oh Dang. okay that's fine <laughs> i see how that's it is fine. <laughs> that's fine um 
sadly this week Cynthia won't be with us as well she is uh going through it y'all okay we but survive she is out okay here. so yeah so she won't be with us this week but I'm sure that we will be receiving a voice note because let me tell you this week we're talking about BTS and whenever we talk about BTS and the hiatus isn't it not called a hiatus right now what is it called what did what is it? I mean listen while we're mentioning it let's just talk about it now so BTS announced <laughs> okay if y'all listen to last week's episode we were all just like <sighs> BTS gonna listen. drop a tour we already know. <laughs> it's gonna... we're just waiting we were just like just drop the tour be predictable okay, well they fine. heard that and they were like we're gonna be unpredictable and they announced that they are taking a break <laughs> like that tweet said like uh, an army and says wow I can't wait for tour BTS ooh who y'all gonna go see <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> played played but bts <laughs> did have they they did a video um a live yeah. kind of to mm. obviously like celebrate their ninth anniversary well it wasn't a live it was pre-recorded but they uh you know they were celebrating their ninth anniversary and like talking about things and yes they dropped the bomb that they will be taking a break according to their word it is a hiatus but according to the new press release it is not a hiatus i think it's because when people hear the word hiatus like they instantly think Panic. like yeah like nothingness so especially like when it like i know a lot of like people were comparing it to the 1d hiatus oh, girl. like they just think like nothingness and then okay bye as opposed to if you say the word break it's like okay well we're taking a break from like music and things but like i'll post a picture of the sunflower on my instagram every two minutes or something you know what i mean like we'll still yeah. they're still gonna film some run episodes so it's just like a break from music and touring but not you know from doing the, being bts basically and i think you right. know like, they even mentioned it on there like they want to work on solo projects and like mm-hmm. so their solo music and do other things that it's not just them seven like imagine being with somebody for so long and not be able to be your own person for so long like you need that time well yeah that's what namjoon was basically saying he was like i've lived with some of the these motherfuckers for 13 years i need i need to go i need to go yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. i need yeah. to leave i was like respect respect and that. exactly and and even namjoon also mentioned it like what sat in me the most like was that he was crying kind of saying like he feels like he can't even ask for permission to have a break like he feels like having a break is so bad and that he needs to keep going and that he's like letting army down and the fans down and that's what broke my heart dude i was just Mm -hmm. like how sad must it be that you think that we like your fan and your support group won't think that damn man like they need a they need to take some time to themselves and i mean there's probably people out there that are just like no you don't you can't have a break which i mean that's fucked up if you're one of those people who like why but also they were like him and jim and were like i feel sorry for even saying like i need a break like yeah i feel bad for saying that and i was like oh my god no if you need a break please take it like have yeah it. like because breaks are important when i was in high school or in college i'd be like wow i study for 10 minutes i need a break i deserve <laughs> this <laughs> i deserve <laughs> this <laughs> take my break so to keep going for like nine plus years like yes sir you need a break it's fine i understand Mm -hmm. people were like emotional about it but i think like the real fans were emotional about it because of the mistranslation or like the way it was worded as hiatus like some people kind of saw that and took that as like oh wait like this does not sound good because especially because they were crying you know what i mean some people are like oh my god like what does this mean and i'm just like no they're just crying because it's like all the emotions of like you know being a group and being bts and like feeling like like namju was saying like we like we need just time to like find ourselves again because he was like i want bts to be a thing for as long as we can be forever and then yungi's like exactly but in order for that to happen we have to take this break like we have to find like Mm -hmm. what we want to be like who we want to be as individuals and as a group in our new direction and just kind of like reevaluate take a step back and be like okay how do we want to proceed yeah and then even namjoon like we've mentioned it before how when they started like you know when they started doing the the dynamite okay yeah cool woo 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 but then it was like you know butter permission to dance and at that point we were just like where the fuck is bts's music going like there's a lot of fans i mean me included that hated permission to dance like it's not a song that speaks to anything that BTS has ever like gone through via music. And again, I and I understand like artists go through changes and they can make a mu- a song just because, just for fun. But in that video, Namjoon said it like he didn't know 
what what BTS was doing. Like none of the music had meaning and that's not why or how they started BTS and like mm. how they wanted to express themselves, right? Mm-hmm. Which, and I mean, I, I've i mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure the, the rest of the girls too on the podcast, how it felt like it was just like a thing to cater to the Western validation and the Grammy yeah. gate and like the Grammy agenda to to go that w- route. And for me, I was just like, listen, yes, Butter is great. Okay, cool. It's not the greatest song they've ever done. Same with Dynamite. Permission to Dance, trash. But, like, <laughs> but, yes. but that's Agreed, what I'm saying. Though. Like, so, Agreed. so we were all just like, flap, like at one point, we we're just like, what the fuck is happening? Like, yeah. I think this is what the agenda for like petitioning for them to no go back go back to the old stuff like so many fans were coming up and saying can y'all just not (laughs) do another english track and i think for me at least he confirmed that he was just like i felt like we lost direction we didn't know like we weren't making music for like they weren't making music for themselves it was for like other people and you know and, and i feel like it's it's good that they were able to realize now like they are at a place that it's okay they're not you know struggling anymore the people that are will be there supporting them will stay with them basically yeah also i feel like for namjoon specifically i feel like as like kind of this leader right he's we i mean even the fandom like president like he's our president namjoon like he's the leader of all leaders like he's the greatest human ever like and he is yeah but I can't even uh, like imagine his perspective of it all, right? So you're mm-hmm. the leader mm-hmm. of this group. Essentially, all these people are like trusting you to push them and like lead them into whatever success and direction you go to. And like Namjoon was talking about it, he was like, you know, when I wrote music, I only considered how I felt. Like I didn't consider how my band felt. And like, do they want to like talk about this? Like, do they want to talk about this message? And he was like, we were just doing it for so long that I didn't even consider it. And Jimin was like, nah, we never thought about that but he was like i know you did it but i did he's like it's not about you right now jim and it's about me jim is like it's fine as long as i could get naked i didn't really care what we were talking about (laughs) and so especially namjoon because obviously he's extremely open with like as open as like a lot of artists can be with like their fans without you know going overboard because obviously it's k-pop and you know some people would go fucking insane if he told probably every aspect of his life but you know he's been pretty open and honest about like what he loves and like his taste and everything like that but he's never really talked about like how he feels and like the sense of like how namjoon is doing not like just how he feels about people in general because he can be like yeah love yourself like you guys are doing great like i love everybody like yes protect like the earth we love crabs like he can say all that but it's never like you know what guys i'm just not feeling like this is where i want to go so i'm not going to do this music so he just kind of had to go along for the ride for the better Mm -hmm. of his like career and the better of his members and i definitely feel like bts is one of those groups where it's like if it's outvoted like it'll get done so maybe namjoon was like i don't really feel this but the rest of them were like oh no it's a great idea and uh, he was like okay well if that's what y'all want to do yeah. yeah i also think too like when cat's talking about him being open like we've seen bcs be open as far as like how they're feeling as people mm. but like not open about like their music you know what i mean because i feel like yep. there's such a stigma in like well i guess all music but I, I see we see it a lot in k-pop that's the world that we're in we're like people like go nuts sometimes if an artist like confesses that like i hate this song Yep. Like, I hate this song. You know what I yep. mean? Like, I hate performing it over and over. Like, why? What? No. Oh, my God. And so I feel like they felt like they could be open to their fans about who they are and what they're feeling, but they couldn't be open to the fact that, like, they didn't like yeah, this it. song, yeah. we we didn't right, like this like, song. This, this song is trash. <laughs> yeah, because then people are like, what? Because, like, we see that even when, like, we joke around about it, but, like, for, like, in, like, for 127, like, a lot of them hate touch. And, like, Jamin hates, like, what is it? Uh, We go up. Like, we he hated that song yeah. or something yeah. like that. It came on or something and then like he was just like oh my god Ugh, like you yeah. can see it in his face like, <laughs> like uh so i just feel like this is the first time that they were able to be open about the fact that like they weren't really happy with some of the music they were making mm. and i know that's hard to like admit that because like they said they just they want to please their fans so much they never want to feel like they're letting them down mm-hmm, and so yeah. i and i can understand that like if you have a fan that told you like oh my god i love permission to dance and we, i know we keep harping yeah. on this song but it's just the most different from what yeah. we were like bts but 
but like I love mm-hmm. permission to dance. It's the reason why I became an army. Like I, I went to the permission to dance on stage because I wanted to see that perform. Like how do you tell someone that like loves this song shit. more than anything? Like I this song like when we recorded it, we were like God, can we get this over? Like how that do you tell a fan booty. that without seeming like a dick? Really like good. oh your favorite song is actually the worst thing we've ever created. Like you know what I mean? Like you can't yeah, say yeah, yeah. that. So I feel like this is the first time that they were like they are, feel like they're out of position to be like okay we don't know what's happening we, we want to take a step back and reevaluate our music because it's just getting away from us like we set out to do something and try different things and it just kind of like snowballed into something that we couldn't stop like we were just like mm-hmm. no we don't you know what I mean and I get that because they had so many pressures like I said new fans whether it's like intentional pressure or unintentional pressure like they got all these new fans and like all this like western attention and then like trying to for the Grammy stuff so like I understand it kind of like got out of hand and they were never able to like pump the brakes and be like nah like this This ain't what we want to do exactly and a lot Mm -hmm. of artists go through that like we even saw that with like for a western example like Lizzo like Lizzo took like a a break too and she didn't make music for what two years or something yep yep um and so this last album and like she left a message on that album saying that like the reason why is because I wanted to make something that was not only true for my fans and give you the best but true to myself because I feel like when I make things that are true to me and what I feel that's my best best work and that's you know what's best for my fans you know that's what you guys really enjoy is when I'm enjoying my art and so I just think that like it happens in a career like if you've been going for so long sometimes you kind of get lost or like even if you don't get lost sometimes you want to take a step back and be like okay is this where I want to keep going or do I need to do something else I mean look at some of like the greatest artists like of all time like Beatles albums were spaced out almost two years Adele releases one what Mm -hmm. every five years Beyonce she'd be Mm -hmm. doing seven years with no nothing at random yeah Yeah. and so (laughs) I definitely definitely think to consider bts in that caliber of artists which they are is completely just and to be like yo like we s- we're selling out stadiums around the world we're doing this we're doing this we're doing this you need to let us have time to like take it in and then re like inspire ourselves to create new music yep. because at one point all they were doing was pumping out music right they were coming back, yep, coming, yep. back coming back yeah. coming back they were pumping out music that even like people that were like deep in the bts universe were like what's what what what, what, how does this Yeah, connect? we were all confused. <laughs> we're like, we're, <laughs> like, we're like, when she uh, talked about that too, like the culture of like the K-pop industry and how sometimes yeah. you feel like you have to constantly be like, come back, yes. come back, come back, come yep. back to stay relevant or to like keep fans happy and stuff like that. And like, kind of like, if you look at it, it's really toxic. Like, expecting these people to like making an album like a good album that's true to who they are what they want to put out like a good body of work like that takes time and like having a comeback and then like three months later you have like a whole another full length album unless you sat down and pinned all these over like a course of a year and now you're just releasing that shit like it's a lot so Mm -hmm. like seeing that like it's great we're excited because we get to see like you know our faves come back but like multiple times yeah yeah but even sometimes the fans get tired they're like jesus like girl this happened with me with got seven one time i was like i'm still waiting on my albums from the last comeback and you're telling me you're dropping another one like sir <laughs> yeah between like albums and repackages and yeah. yeah which i mean like again that's the culture of k-pop and like the multiple yeah. comebacks but at one yeah. point if you don't yeah like if if it's not something that's planned out for like your whole year and like your everything's like recorded maybe you have to yeah do exactly one, one or two things extra but if not yeah like doing a whole album and just like the two months in the in the middle of the break like I couldn't even imagine that. But I also feel like the thing that's so, like, great about K-pop and BTS in particular, and also, like, a lot of Hive artists, is that they make bodies of work that you will listen to for the nine months that they're not making music. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, 17, like, their last album to this one, what was the, like, time period? It was, like, six months, eight months or something. But you don't think about it. You don't notice. Because I still be blasting Heaven's Cloud like it was released two days ago but the way like you know it's set up like for me even with nct like maybe because nct has multiple units it doesn't feel like much longer because like one two seven how how long has it fucking been since favorite like seven months eight months already right i don't even know girl because i keep i still listen to that right now they're focused on dream them poor babies they pumping out music left and right (laughs) yeah so like but you don't even notice so it's like yep 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 when you make good bodies of music that'll last a really long time i.e beyonce bitch i still listen to the b-day album like i heard it for the first time when i was nine years old like when you pump out like good music albums that are good that are not done under pressure in a short period of time and you just pump out like 
hits and like albums and b-sides and bodies of work that are just fucking good like people are gonna listen to the album no matter how long you're gone for and so i think that was smart on their part to do the anthology before they decided to do yes. this because yes you have new songs but now you have all these new songs that people are like oh my god that album was so good let me go back and listen to that album for three yep, months straight. yep yep which is exactly what you do bitch i haven't put down dark and wild since the anthology came out like yeah. that's all I've been listening Ooh, to. that's dark and wild supremacy <laughs> it's wings for me love me some wings it's never gonna be a thing where they're gonna be unrelevant or irrelevant you know beyonce is never irrelevant adele is never irrelevant like these people yep, are yep. never irrelevant the amount of people too that like hit me up like oh my god your boys are breaking up i'm like who same. said that not even no my one mom said that. Same. my mom came into my room was just like i i they just talked about in the news so your boys are breaking up and i looked at him like huh and she's like bts and i'm like they're not they're that's sick. another thing that was super annoying like not like because i have a friend that came up to me she goes what's going on is bts breaking up like are you good and i was just like what no girl and i had to explain to her but just like all the media like the news outlets yeah. Yeah, like y'all don't y'all ne- ain't never cared there was one good news outlet i can't think of what it's called because i never know what the show is called but it has like gail on it like oprah's best friend gail like i love her anyways they were just like oh no like they're they they have longevity like they're they're taking a break because they just need it. they've been working hard like mm. they even had a translator or somebody come and translate everything to make sure that like what the boys were saying like they're like yeah like no they'll be back they're just like you know chilling and I was just like that was the only like accurate statement mm. everything else I've seen on the news and all these talk shows are like yeah well we all know how that goes yep. just like yeah. someone yep. so said they're gonna they're breaking up and I'm like why is everybody like y'all never really talked to them about talked about them before until like Literally. you know just the toxicness of western media specifically like how they want to see your your fall just yeah, so they can fall. talk about yep. it like they they they're just like nah, we knew that this was just a face like i don't mm-hmm. care that yesterday they were like all buddy buddies like i happy bts like today they will go and backstab you like be like oh i yep. knew that they were gonna fail if it was annoying for the fans like imagine them that literally the next day like they were it, i'm sorry it was five hours. So they announced yeah. that they were going to take this break. And five hours later, they had to do a whole new press release saying like, no, they're not. It's not a hiatus. Like they're just taking a break. Like their stocks for Hybe went down 1.9 billion. Just mm-hmm. from that announcement of them saying, hey, we're taking a break. Like that's insane. That is the most stupid thing. I cannot believe people Give pull their stock. stocks like that. Take me. Right? Take, I'll take I'm it. Just I'll like, take your well, even June, he said, that he, he's like I've never had so many calls and messages before in my life <laughs> yeah. like people were like saying like oh what's going on like blah blah he's like no like we're fine like we just need a break that's like people like we're yeah. tired and we just want to like figure <laughs> out what we're heading like, bro yeah I want to sleep for three weeks leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> Which is so sad because it only like reinforces all their fears. You know what I mean? Like people yes. instantly were just like, God, they're taking a break. Oh no. And they're just like, well, this is not what we wanted. But like. And literally same, same. Cookie had to go on live. Yeah. A, to clear mm-hmm. his name because, you know, they were saying that he lived like a, like a college student. <laughs> <laughs> With no money. He is like, <laughs> I mean. But then, okay. I haven't watched like the full video, but I've seen clips and I know that apparently Cookie has like seven mattresses. He has a mattress he in does. every room. <laughs> Yo. And then, um the one tweet that was just like yeah i'm finally feeling better so i'm talking with my husband and and i was telling him about cookie having seven mattresses and my husband goes oh, that's because he wants them to sleep over and i was like <laughs> why would you do that i thought it was funny too because he was probably saying like everybody getting their own damn mattresses yes. we're not poor anymore we don't have to all <laughs> sleep in the same bed <laughs> exactly but it's, it was so cute of him to do like be like no like everybody got gets a bed in my house oh, but damn but, yeah. I didn't even think about that. My thought process was, damn, he's smart because then no matter where he is, he can just go to sleep wherever he is. <laughs> Which is probably his <laughs> thought process. That's probably what he was thinking. He could just be like, bro, I'm tired. I'm going to lay down right here right on here. this mattress. <laughs> right here. When he in the studio, oh, shit, I'm tired. Let me lay down real quick. <laughs> I'll take a nap. At the same time, this is exciting. Like, it's, you know, Hobie's going to Lollapalooza. Ah! 
Hobie's uh, already working. He's gonna be releasing like his solo album. K is too. Min Yoo Gi is talking a lot about when I tour and when I tour. And I'm like, if we I I will lose my shit. If we get a solo Yoongi, like fucking like, And concert. I hope he, he lives his dream and does his 21 and up show. I'm sorry yes, to period. all the youth. I'm sorry you little young but, but we need it. We need it. We, okay, need we deserve it. it. We deserve we this deserve shit. It. We all going through the same thing. We all old and we just need it. We've been through the trenches and now we got to celebrate with yeah, this Yeah, Yoongi likes, show. likes to remind us that we all old. He reminded that Jin too. He yeah. was like, Jin was like, how, why, 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 what? Why? <laughs> like, I was unprovoked. Unprovoked. I was just sitting here drinking my drink. I had nothing to do with that statement. And then here you are. <laughs> He's like, yeah, me and Jen are in our 30s. And then he was like, hello? <laughs> why, why you bring me into this? Jen is me. Whenever y'all are just like, yeah, because we're in our 30s. I'm like, you, why'd you say that? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Carolina, you're not in your 30s yet. Don't worry. You still got to come. Exactly, right? It's coming, though. Come it's coming soon. It's coming. And it's not slowing down. But, you know, it was just like... I think that this is a very well deserved break. Obviously, they threw a curveball because we were all expecting a we tour. We were like, and, yeah. ah, they're going to announce the tour. They think they're I split. feel so bamboozled <laughs> because although they never, they never said they were touring like in this year. They never said it. We just all assumed because of the whole like Jen talking about like, oh yeah, when we come back on tour, like I'm going to make sure I have Vegas. So I'm like, and yep, then the other yep. when we're on tour, so everybody's like, oh my God, they're coming back. They say, yeah, in 2025. And all these airports tweeting about them like we we're like yeah, yeah bro. that was a set even the, up. even the airports got got, this was a got set. Set we were set up listen this wasn't us this wasn't our imagination we were set up everybody we set up. but i would like to say they look like they are living their lives like yungi is out here yeah. taking english classes taking pilates classes he's just like living his life he's like bitch i got a yoga class after this so we need to wrap this up <laughs> Oh my God! King. Yep, yep. Jen is probably with his uh, rumored wife. <laughs> um, Namjoon threw his yeah, ass right? under the bus. That woman was watching that and probably went. Oh. <laughs> Jimin's whole face was Jimin, like, <laughs> yes. Jimin was just it. It was Jimin for Bro, me. That's Jimin what I told y'all. Away, when Jimin was just like, should we? Should we even be talking about this? Like, how like, much of this can we air? <laughs> <laughs> bro, uh, shut up. They're about looking at him like it was right? it was fine until you said something. Bro, when I was watching that for the first time and I was watching it and Namjoon was like newlyweds, I was like, Oh, that's funny. I bet he was like, Oh, because it's all white. I was like, ah, Namjoon's so funny. Jin hasn't painted his walls. That's crazy. And then I looked at Jin. I was like, Jin got a wife. That's crazy. <laughs> Jin got a wife. He got a wife or a fiance. He got something. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. That, that man is so private. Like, I'm like, they give it away when they're like they don't say anything but their eyes get big they're just yes. like yeah the reaction gives it away every time i'm like we know you are not actors we know we can know we know the actors of the group because they sit there calm cool and collected like what yeah. everybody else everybody was else he was just eating like nothing happened he was like ha ha that's yep. funny because the house is white that's crazy that's crazy and jimin was like wow. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> It's like Bam Bam, Jim and Bam Bam hang out in the same club. <laughs> the same club. Like the true Libra in Jim and popped out. He said, oh my God, the drama. He was like, the drama. <laughs> It's true. I literally, I had to tell like my friends that don't care about K-pop. I literally told Andrea the story. I'm just like, listen. So this guy Jimin, he's the Libra. So <laughs> you already know he's an instigator. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, isn't that something I would do? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Bitch, like his eyes went bloop. I was like, Jimin, if you just shut up. <laughs> Shut up. And then he just kept going because everyone afterwards, when his eyes were like this, he was looking like, y'all didn't, <laughs> y'all didn't, y'all didn't hear, hear that? that? And everybody's just kind of like, yeah, we heard it, but play it off. You know, giving him that look like, yeah, like, ha, ha, ha. He goes, okay, but like, y'all still don't hear that? We can still talk about it? And everyone's just looking at him like, shut your ass up. Like, no one thought anything. He's so funny. And it's that so cameraman funny. was messy, too. Because he <laughs> right. ran it right to his face. <laughs> He said, this is good. He's like, zoom in zoom on Jimin. Zoom. I think they knew. The cameraman said, y'all, y'all ready for this? Hold on. Y'all ready for this shot right here? Jimin Ooh. fan cam. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, but 
I am just, you know, they're already slowly like Jungkook's gonna have a collaboration with some some guy, and uh, um, we're excited. For I'm it. excited for Jungkook um, part, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know who that some guy is. Listen, I just, I would just like to say thank you to BTS's rap line for always collaborating with women of color. Thank you. You guys are doing great. You're right. Um, and then if the Little Mix, if the Leanne of Little Mix collab is true for the Hobie record, oh I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Oh, my God. Y'all, I love Little Mix. I love Little Mix. Don't. Mm. I'm excited for everyone's solo stuff or whatever endeavors they're going to do. Like, I, if Jin decides to make, like, a whole fishing pole Yes, line, I'd buy one. Like, I'd, buy <laughs> I'd buy it. I'm ready. So Jun and Hyungsik and stuff, too. I'm excited for the Wuha squad. That's going to be cute. Yeah. Like, in the soup. I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it. I didn't even buy the BTS one, but I'm gonna buy this one. Because <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna be cute. In my dreams, too, I would like Jungkook to start a band. Um, I've learned that if I say things on the podcast, they, they come, come true. true. So I I'm mean, look. Say, he's been hanging around with those drumsticks for a long time mm-hmm. now. And he said so, that he really wants to learn. Like, he's electric practicing, guitar. he's honing his craft. And yes, mm-hmm. and he wants to learn the guitar, too. I'm like, oh, yes. We love this. He didn't just say guitar. He said electric guitar. And he I was like, that. Exactly. So if I get Jungkook in a band where he's might he might not even be the front man. No, he just Who the cares? drummer. That's fine. That's fucking fine great. Imagine imagine him begging the the dr- Oh my god. Um, also Jungkook covering up his tattoos and like getting new ones and shit. Like thank God. Said, we are Listen, getting down to I'm gonna business. be that bitch because I hated some of those tattoos. I thought they were tacky and they did not look good. I was like, I don't know who tattooed on these these on you, but no. But he's getting them redone. It was that girl, that one girl that everybody was like going through for a minute, and then like I guess people kind of realized like hmm. trash it is ugly <laughs> yeah but like we were talking about it last night too and my kid was just like i don't know if like he went into like a manic episode because he could probably got so many fans saying don't do it don't yep. get tattoos don't do it yeah, oh yeah like, i'm gonna do it i won't and he just yeah. walked over there and was just like just draw shit on me i don't care yeah. what it is yeah just that's literally that's what i said because the same thing happened with fucking harry styles and Louis yep. from One Direction, everyone's like, don't get tattoos, don't get tattoos. And then they started getting dumb shit tattooed on yep. them. But I'm so glad. Like, that microphone cover-up, beautiful. I was yeah, like, yes. wow, thank God. Thank God. And then, like, he did redid, like, the clock and stuff. Like, it, everything is looking good. I know yes, that man yep, is in yep. a lot of pain because I don't know how. Ooh, like that arm is probably swollen. Like, and, like Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, it could be, like, he just gradually got them and the man's just, like, re- the artist is just, like, releasing yeah. them or whatever. It I don't know. Be. But either way, like, I'm I'm glad it's happening. Yeah. Also, I'm a tattoo fiend, everybody. You guys might not know this about me, but I'm obsessed with tattoos. Shout out to my mother. But there is a tattoo artist that my dream is to get a tattoo by him. And he fucking reposted the picture of jungkook and the other tattoo artist on his story and so my mind just went oh my god if jungkook gets a tattoo done by him i'm gonna lose my fucking mind (laughs) that's where i'm at so i hope this for him because he deserves it yes i also if anybody wants to donate to my fund of getting a tattoo done by this man he's only in new york until the end of the year so like i need to get it done quick (laughs) Uh, like gotta like gotta go over there real quick I have, like, the little tip thing on my Twitter. Like, just tip me, like, what you guys want. I think I need, like, five grand to do, like, an hour and a half with him. So, like... Damn. Make it happen for me. Thanks. I'm just excited because, like I said, when they come back, they're going to be more, even more sure of themselves. They're going to yes. be on their grown, grown. They're going to know exactly what they want, what they yep. want to do. And these performances are just going to be better. Immaculate. Way better. I mean, I'm excited. Uh, and I also can't wait for Pro Gamer Jin. Uh, that's going yes. to be a great era because <laughs> he is in his gamer. He is in his gamer bag. I hope and I he love starts a him. Twitch. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> I would love that. I would watch. I would watch him play. Uh, I would just like to say, Jimin, you, Kai, Ravi, you guys, own, and Sungun, we, you guys, only yeah, have yes. like a few years to be able to do the unit. So like now, now, now would be the, the time. now would be the time. Also, if ninety seven line also wants to do a unit, like I'm good yes. with that because Mingyu also plays the bass. So like he could yeah. Be the listen, oh, oh. I I said this too. <laughs> I need I need another ninety seven gate. Okay, I need chaos. Um, I need I need that. Can you just imagine? you know because like ooh, because like jan is in his writing his writing era now mm. how he wrote that fo- that ooh, that song when he was all on the couch yes. and he was just yeah was- also jan really heavily listens to like indie boy like rock bands so like i'm just saying like that's true i'm sa- we manifesting jungkook band and he i'm just saying tour. mingyu pay- plays the bass he plays the guitar like i'm just putting it out there that it would never be a bad idea for 97 Listen, line to DK. do anything together 
vocals, vocals for days with DK. Uh, you got Yu Gi Oh, Bam Bam. But see, like, I, I mean, I love all of them, but I want like Bad Boy Lion. So like Mingyu, Jungkook, Yu Gi Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Her like that, and then some mm. randoms we don't know about. Maybe maybe like Kang Hyun from One Week can sneak his way in there. We get like a unit group. Yeah. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> so you want the downfall for all of us? Got I it. Wanna I, I wanna die. I wanna die. <laughs> I'm not make it. I mean, I'll make it, but you're gonna have to like drag me out, <laughs> wheel me out of every performance. <laughs> just have it ready. Just the wheelchair is ready yep. at the door. <laughs> but I'm just saying, they're starting to oh, hang God. out with more celebrities openly. Like Unwu and like J Hope were at a baseball game the other day. Like they just they out here, and I love that for them. And I I'm just saying, like do some collabs with some K-pop idols. I'm just putting it out there. Got yeah. bang tan. Got bang tan. I think it. I think <laughs> this is gonna be like in the next couple of years. It's probably gonna be a thing because more and more idols are coming out and saying that. Like, we want to work with each other, but y'all Literally. crazy. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to need y'all to Calm not down. mind the crazies and just do what y'all want. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Because trust me, most of the fans will appreciate that. Prime example is that at the Dream concert just now, like, you know, a bunch of the fourth gen um, boy idols had like that collab stage. And the yeah. way from, from Monster X Love Killa, the way yeah. that the fans are freaking living their best lives right mm-hmm. now. Like, they're loving it. Also, because there were, th- like, three members that were in X1 and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, yeah. a lot of fans are so happy with it. And older fans, even, like, especially Mon Bebe, they're just like, this is actually a good cover. It was really good this cover. this damn song. It's Shout so out to them. It was so good. good. Yeah, they did so it. well. Like, if I, if Junho, listen, if he, if the produce judges could look at him now, boy. They would be like, boy, boy. You improve so much. So much. You improve so much. Proud of my little but baby. Yeah. I love him so much i'm so proud of him, i know i love him also He's growing up I just, so well i know dripping is like they they going through their golden child era where they're going from the shitty music to the good music and i love that yeah i was yep, like yep. that's the willem and effect we'll, apparently. we'll talk about the more recent song just a bit everybody but um anyways for us at least for me just party words about this bts break i think they deserve it nobody should yep. be mm-hmm. alarmed i feel like yeah. they were pretty honest and open mm-hmm. saying that they want to stay together and that they will stay together also the the fact that they remember like two years ago when they resigned and they had that whole talk about how they were thinking about not resigning if yep. they didn't want to do anything related to BTS then they at that point they wouldn't have resigned I feel like now after that they were just like, we know that we want to be in this Bangtan Sonyanda thing for life. Period. But I would also like to say that with this BTS break, whatever it may be, I'm excited to see what the the land of K-pop got in store. Because I know no matter what, even though they will never be replaced, there's going to be a K-pop group coming for that crown. So they're going to be... The yep. comebacks are about to be immaculate. They're about yeah. to be immaculate. They're about to put in I'm some waiting. work. I, f- yeah. I feel like it's overdue, but I feel like EXO needs to have their comeback. One More than what I'm saying, for a really long time, like newer groups weren't able to reach a certain level because obviously like BTS is BTS. So like BTS deserves Artist of the Year. They deserve Album of the Year. But now the BTS is like on break and they're doing their separate things. Like other groups can be like oh well now we about to make the best album of our life and we about to win album in the year while we can (laughs) while we can while we here yeah that's true like 17 nct like all these groups that albums are like immaculate but obviously bts is bts so like you can't really out bts bts right but now there's no bts currently so like this is the time y'all got like two years (laughs) y'all two years to make it happen <laughs> like come on y'all better hurry up There's because once that the comeback album comes out when they're when they come back y'all done for <laughs> it's over for y'all so <laughs> y'all might as well, like get it in now it's gonna be a fight to the death for the next two years and i'm excited about it i'm hype i mean i'm excited to see what else will happen in k-pop and obviously like this will have a ripple effect in the sense of just how i guess groups go about you know taking breaks and things like that at least i hope so you know i i'm assuming or I, i'm hopeful that at least these companies can look at it and be like damn if even if bts can take a break whenever they need that our then group can our groups can yeah. do the same so but also i know all them groups that was at like music bank inky gaio and stuff were just begging to get a chair a peek at bts while they were walking down the hall they were like Whew. 
Okay. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go out the. I'm gonna go out the hall at one fifteen. 125, 135, 145, 215. I, I should be able to run into one of them at some point. Then. He's got to camp out in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> right? But yeah, but anyways, excited to see what BTS will have in store for us. And I hope that they do a lot of just whatever they BTS want. BTS things. Yes. Yes. And if that's sleeping for three weeks, like go for it. If Love this just... break though, because we've gotten more interaction from them online this past like two weeks than yep. we have in the past like nine Ever. years. So, anyways, that was a big chunk of um this week's uh talk. But moving on, we have news. Also, obviously, like last week we did our BTS special. Um, if you have not listened to that, please go and listen to it. Yeah. And we, where we talk about everything proof related, like what we thought about the new songs and the whole like proof um, anthology album. But in the midst of that all, Kat got COVID, Ugh. and um sadly she thought that she wasn't gonna be able to go see the boys. Well, literally the boys. <laughs> got COVID too. Surprise! They said, if Kat's not seeing the boys, nobody is seeing the boys. That's what God said. <laughs> yeah, that's what God said. But yeah, so Kat got COVID and then literally like a couple days later, she was so upset she wasn't going to be able to go to the San Jose show. Yeah. Well, the the boys got COVID. I believe it was who? <laughs> Juyan. Juyan. Um, Kevin. Was it Kevin too? Yeah, girl. Kevin got it. My boy Kevin oh, was dang. ill. <laughs> it was Kevin, Juyan, and Changmin. So they got COVID. They postponed the shows for Dallas and San Jose. So uh, we're thinking, you know, that that's going to be later on. We're assuming for some time around August since everybody, KCON is back. KCON LA 2022 in Los Angeles, presented by Toyota this year. As always, beautiful. Love Toyota. Yes. Anyway, yes. Um, they are doing it this year and they are doing it up. This first lineup is fire. Okay. Like fire flames. Itzy. Hello. Not shy. So not excited. me. Okay. Yeah, I want to see Itzy. <laughs> Listen, they got in hyping. We about to be drunk dazed because we are over hyping, 21. Hyping, hyping, and hyping, 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 hyping. Of course, the boys are going to be on there. And I have never been more excited. And mix Stacy Cosmic Girls, Cravity. Stacy Girls is going down. Hello. Stacy Girls is girl. going down, girl. I'm so excited for them. You don't even know. Bitch, I'm about to see ASAP yes. live. Hello. Ooh, yes. This is a group. I am so hyped for Stacy. And once I found out their story that the people that make all the music for twice, are the ones that created Stacy? I was like, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's Stacy girls. It's really going down because I'm gonna be yeah. living my best life. Can't wait to see that. Song I right. know. I hope they do twenty four seven too. And also, mm-hmm. oh my god. Also, this is just the first oh, lineup, yes, yes, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. So the day that this comes out, the second lineup will be released. So go to our twitters for all of us screaming about whoever it may be because I have a fat. I have a feeling if this is the first lineup, that the second lineup can only get better. Yeah, be something. Crazy. Listen, there were already rumors that it might be NCT Dream, which you already Listen, know. I- don't even. Don't even because y'all, oh, if Dream is coming to KCON, prepare to be sick of me. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't want to see me there. Y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's going to be great. I can't wait. But th- there's rumors about that. I know that they've been rumors since the beginning of the year of ATs going to KCON. But I really, Ugh. I don't think if they're going to swing that one. That one's very speculation. But yeah, but KCON, I am so excited for KCON. Honestly, if y'all are going, you will catch us there. You we'll will see definitely us see us there. Because with this lineup so far, 2900 is looking real cheap. <laughs> real cheap right now. Ooh, baby. Damn. Um, and some sad news, though. These past two weeks, we did find out that uh, 17's John Han did have elbow surgery, so he will be wearing a cast for a little bit. It didn't specify. I know, like, they they have their Korea show coming up, so I'm, I'm thinking it'll be for that one. It didn't specify if for the USA he'll have one, too, but, I mean, from June to, to August, I think he'll be fine. So we hope for a speedy recovery. And also, there's been some drama with TO1. <laughs> so okay the basis is that three members left which was Wungi, Minsu, and Jerome our boy Jerome I know so go back to I think we mentioned um a couple of weeks ago that they were gonna take a break like uh, they were taking a hiatus and also Chi Hoon left and then yes so there was a member that left and then they were gonna take a that they were t- gonna take a break and then that period of time <laughs> These three other members left, and then they put new members in, which were Daigo, Renta, and Yojong. But the mm. thing is that, I don't mean to laugh, but like they literally said that they've been on a break, and then at random, they just dropped a new picture on Instagram with the three new members. No explanation as to who they yeah. were. No explanation as to where the other three members went. Nothing. And I'm like, what the, f- what? 
just happened. So, like, I'm slightly invested in TO1. Here's why. We saw them at KCON before they were TO1 when they were still in their survival yeah. show, yes. right? And they were, like, some of the members were, like, bomb. And we were, like, damn, they're, like, they're, like, really good. So, we were, like, who are they? And then we saw their cutouts. We took pictures with their cutouts and everything. Anyway, <laughs> we saw their cutouts at KCON. And Tara was, like, Jerome. And we are like, Jerome? That's crazy. And so, we've been emotionally attached to Jerome, okay? And then, like, they came out. They were on Road to Kingdom. You know bitch i love road to kingdom right so they were on road to kingdom they were dope as fuck and magnolia a yes box. anyway they were good as fuck i was invested in them specifically chi hoon that was my son that was my boy and Wungi. loved them loved them i was like yes i'm invested i'm here for this yes i also really like chan chan's great too anyway but i was invested in them i was like oh my god and then shit slowly started to fall apart yep. like first they were t t o o whatever and then they switched company. Their company like they switched companies so then they were t o one and then chiun left and no then they went on a hiatus they came back with a rebrand and then they did like a bunch of stuff they were getting a little like success then chi hoon left for personal quote-unquote personal reasons and we were like damn okay that kind of sucks but i guess whatever and then after they did k contact so like things were going good like they were doing tour i was assuming they were going to be on the k contact tour like the whole little rookie tour yeah. thing that they were doing so i was like damn like okay go off to your one everybody like they have a good fan base like they have a solid fan base of people and i'm like yeah i love that for them and then all of a sudden they're like okay we're gonna take a break again and everybody's like what the fuck's going on so they take a break Wungi also wasn't like yeah he was he was on a hiatus before they announced that they were yeah, gonna take he was a break on a hiatus. Yeah, yeah so they did that and everybody was like oh maybe they're gonna announce that Wungi's back because they were like oh we have an announcement and everybody was like oh my god it's like Wungi coming back are they gonna announce they're gonna be at kcon like boo, 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 boo. like even under the kcon list everyone was like oh my god it's gonna be t01 in top class like that's what the tt is i'm so sorry y'all it wasn't it was the boys in the beat but everybody was like so excited and they're like oh my god yes and then all of a sudden out of nowhere after they just announced the break they were like oh so Wungi Minsu and Jerome they gone y'all they gone they left they left the group but don't worry because we got these three new members y'all ain't yep. gonna, gonna even notice that they're gone yep. and I was like first of all how you gonna get rid of the three great gay members during pride month that's just rude <laughs> I'm saying. I homophobic very is giving very homophobic to me but like how you gonna get rid of the three like the little fruity boys yeah, like what they were what so happened? cute and I, I know something had to have happened for these three boys to be like, you know what? No, I'm not doing this no more. Yep, like, yep. Period, like, gone. It sucks that they left or, like, whether they left or the company let them go. Whatever the case may be, that sucks. But the, the shadiest of shady is just replacing them with, like, three random people that no one's ever heard of. Yes, like, it's not even no like, oh, these boys are already integrating into the group. We know who they are. It's just no. like, oh, no, here. Like, yep. what? I think two of them, they did say... I. They were, from from, they were from Produce, right? Yeah. To produce Japan, yeah. yeah. They have an insane fan base. Like, their fan base is, like, fucking, like, huge. Like, mm -hmm. they did really well on Produce Japan. So, like, they have a really huge fan base. So that's what I'm thinking that, like that's why they replaced them with them but like it was just weird the fact that they posted this picture with the through the three new members expected nobody to notice and then after everybody's like what the fuck is happening then they decided hey by the way mm -hmm. like three members left and uh these are their replacements i'm like what as if everybody was just gonna be like okay yeah cool exactly like, so yeah so i don't know because same i thought that they after the rebrand they had a good chance like they were just steadily like becoming a household name like they were doing a lot of events mm. like a lot of people yep. started liking them and it was it, yeah so it's like a weird thing i that's why i agree with cat where i think that something happened like something yeah. was brought to light that certain members might have not liked yeah because there's no way four members leave in the span of a yeah. month like mm -hmm. there's just it's not typical like maybe like one member leaves in the span of a group lifetime but like four members leaving in the span of one month yeah it's kind of fishy to exactly me. kind of suspicious suspicious it's suspicious so we'll see but moving on to uh the music part of uh, this episode everybody um jungkook released my you just so y'all know in this whole fiasco not fiasco but this whole drama of bts uh and their break jungkook still said i will be right next to the fans so go listen to that song it's really cute but don came back with stupid cool props to him because he started his music video with with wind don 94 and i lost it i was laughing so yeah. much y'all when i saw that like that video like it just started i was like damn he really <laughs> said when windows 95 let's go but this is not <laughs> But yeah, but this is really very Dawn. I love that he always keeps his music. 
like through uh, true to himself. He his the music video is crazy. He has clown shoes on. Oh my god, the clown so, shoes. Girl, the clown shoes. So I was like, I hope this is ironic. No, that man is wearing them everywhere now. I'm like, those are literal like literal clown shoes, Ronald McDonald. Like, what yeah. the fuck are you yep. doing? Also, there's a part where he uh, looks like he's wearing the outfit from Shine, and I wanted to oh. cry. Just putting that out oh, there. Oh god, the little the little orange yeah. like jumper with the tie, and the I was like, ah! like as soon as he came out with it, I was like, ah, no. I was like, why? Honestly, knowing him, maybe like, he's you know giving tribute. Who knows? I still think back to that. That era was just great. Literally, that was their song. That was their break and then cube just cut their wings to their own group anyways besides the point don stupid cool i this unique this is weird I love very it. entertaining i love this very song. original yes but i love the song i think this is more of his like free like kind of like fun don rather than like the crazy yes. don yeah which i mean all don is crazy don but this is more just like the fun like quirky don yeah. which i'm obsessed yeah. with Same. yes i love this the outfits were just so freaking great too the makeup looks were incredible he just like, he eats everything up I'm like saying. how can like clown shoes but he low-key like pulling it off like, hello? <laughs> like i was like mad i'm like why you look okay with those on this <laughs> doesn't make sense also there was that one outfit which one with the gloves I was like, oh, he looked good. I was like, Kiana, you lucky. The bitch. one, the you. one that he had, it was like the tight, like red, like crop top. Not a crop top. I'm sorry, a sleeveless shirt. Mm -hmm. The red. Yeah, that one God, with the gloves yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. looked, he looked good in that outfit. I was like, oh. I was like, Kiana, go off, queen. I was like, good for and you. the whole song is about Kiana. Like, <laughs> I know. Like, it's so cute. He even shows like the ring that, like, for their engagement, everything. Yeah. I was like, good for this you. This is wild like it's so, so good cute. i know they deserve the best i love them it gives me hope that i can find a younger man that'll love me the way that donnie loves he was looking at you johnny <laughs> 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 me looking at um yu gyeom changbin uh, everybody because we everybody. <laughs> We're going to move on from Don to his newfound best friend, Wan yes. Ho, which I love that this is a friendship that's happening. Wow. I love this for um, them both. And if you put their songs together, they're crazy, stupid, cool, which is a great <laughs> oh my God. TLC album. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, but uh, I was not expecting to get rocker Wan Ho in this. Like, Yeah, I liked it. Like, it, it sounded like him, but, like, different. Like, I was, it, I guess because most of his music, he's always, like, stuck to pop and very, yeah. like, uh, like, sexy, sultry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. And, 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 I mean, I expected to see Wan Ho titties. Like, I was just, like, that's a given. Always. Like He was, like, I'm gonna make you crazy, and he was right. He was yeah. correct. Because that little white, the little tummy he, showing, oh, I said, That was my oh. favorite, too. I was said a little goes a long the part, way. I was just like, what is happening? Is when he was on the mechanical bull. <laughs> I was like, no. Whose creative choice was this? Probably his. Probably. <laughs> he was like, and I want a mechanical bull, okay? And I'm like, I'm a, I'm a Why who knows what he's doing? He knows oh, what yeah, he's definitely. doing. He's like, we don't kink shame anybody no. here. I'm gonna be everyone's masculine man or everyone's twink. Either way, either way, we, we get in for it. it. Like, bro. But yeah, but I thought that this music video was super cool though. Like. I like that it was mostly performance style based. Like it was just a big like him and like dancers and like big production. Like even at the end, you have like the rain and them dancing and all that stuff. Like, I love that. So yeah, but he's crazy. Wanho is crazy. Tied up Wanho. Wanho is for everybody because his his album. There's literally like pictures of him with chains and chained up, and then the photo card is him with a bow on. So yeah, I'm like this man. This he is the definition of give me everything give me everything he's a definition of everything in the kitchen sink yes <laughs> yep. he got it all he got it all now he got a bestie don that's been through the same shit as he has so we love a common exactly. bond exactly but this is great yeah rocker wanho we love that um dripping which we talked about a little bit earlier Ugh. they also came out with zero and this so reminds me of early monster x so music good. Oh wow! Yes, so big good. time. I was watching. I was like, "This sounds like a like you know like Trespass era." Ooh, or now some I gotta shit. go back and listen because like I really enjoyed this. I liked it. Um, I would just like to say my cousin Alexander ate it up. <laughs> good job. I don't know their good names, job, but I like that's my her boy. orange haired, long haired one. See, I don't know their names like that either, so I would have to go and look it up. With the light orange or the dark orange hair. Because it was like, they were both orange, but yeah. like one was like a lighter orange and one was like a dark orange. But the longer one is probably Minsu. Probably. He's the one with the longer yeah, orange Yeah, it is. Hair, it's so yeah, Minsu. okay, well then that one. 
I was like, oh, he's so cute. All I know is my boy Junho yeah. is killing it, okay? He's improved so much, and I am so proud of him. He's doing so well. Okay. I've seen so many people, so many girlies all over. Like, they they just Aww. fanning over him, and I am so proud of him. But, yeah, my cousin, my cousin Alex, he did that. I, job. I, I remember I seeing that. that name. I screamed. I said, <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Vish Schmidt. John Jacob Jingleheimer yep. Schmidt. <laughs> Yes, he sir. Is, he is a German he boy. He said, my name is my, <laughs> your name is my name too, Tara said. They really did him dirty and put his full government. <laughs> they never do that for anybody. Yeah. They put that man's entire, they put his social security <laughs> number in there too. <laughs> So it's sick. hidden in there. Um, <laughs> also, okay, but in the music video, I laugh because there's a scene that is like Junho, and honestly, I can't, I don't know who the other member is. I'm so sorry, but they, it just looks like a BL scene. I'm like, what's happening here? Like, how does this yeah, it switched up real fast. Rest, yeah, to the rest of the music video, how does this relate? They said Happy Pride Month. Here's some homies <laughs> being homies. Sometimes you gotta cuddle the homie, Carolina. <laughs> that's true, that's true. But it was just so funny because... Oh, you mean the part where they were holding hands? No, it they was were like, like laying was, on each other. Like, they're just like laying there and then looking at each other. And I'm like, that Ew. was like the only scene that I'm like, how does this pertain to the rest of the music? Because really? they just want to love. They just want to love their homies. It's pride month. Okay. You gotta cuddle the homie. It was great. It was so funny. But yeah, but this chorus hits though. I really like the song. Oh, it was like, so good. Like the see Rosie, see, Rosie. See, well, oh yes. Like Yeah, and Yoon Sung's vocals. Mm. And also like I didn't like his hair all straight like that. Like he his hair was all straightened and when he was like dancing in front of the camera with the wind. I was like, okay, Oh my god, up. is he the one that had like the the sleeves like in in the hands, like the arms? Yeah, 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 the, yeah, um, yeah. Yo, okay, his voice is incredible but i incredible. thought the same thing i was like why they straighten his hair like that like <laughs> but listen he he was eating it up though and yeah, i'm so yeah, happy yeah. for him because he deserved better on produce but i'm so happy for him because he wow he did great uh yes but that hair they should not have straightened his hair like that they no. made him so dirty <laughs> they did but again i would like to reiterate my cousin is a rapper good job alex <laughs> went off because i like he's all like alexander also Literally. i just love i love this that it was like destruction and fire and like all of this and at the end they're just standing there like yeah destroy yeah. it all we're like we're cute like yeah they even threw in some childhood trauma we love that really like, yeah <laughs> Love right. that. random child I was like uh oh, there's so much going on but the song like it just it just is great i really like the song and like kat mentioned earlier like they're getting to their era they're finding their sound yeah. they're finally making music that is like not all over the place that's not all over the place yeah so i feel like yes yes this is good this is good um let's change it up 180 Bruh, I... omega x <laughs> Bruh, i was not okay. expecting this <laughs> I was she, not she couldn't it. even believe it. She started coughing right away. I <laughs> choked. Let me tell you, when I thought that these teaser images were just like a fake, a fake out, I thought this was a fake out. I was like, yeah, okay, they're doing a fun, happy, like, concept. Sure, yeah. Omega X, Violet Clone o X, yeah. Like, they're going to do, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Sure. Like, what's going on, Omega X? No way, no way. And they out here with like tilted frolicking. visors. They and, really like, were frolicking, frolicking with like, with like based on like a tennis field. And they're like, look at me, I'm cute with this tennis racket. And I was like, what is they're, happening? Like, throwing <laughs> streamers that used to be part of their cast in the air. Yeah. I was just like, Ooh. they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, hello. Like, what's hello. happening? Yeah. So if you don't know, Omega X came out with Play Dumb. Uh, they got us. <laughs> like, they played us. They did. They played us. Because they tricked me. They played my ass. Was not expecting this at all, but this is so cute and fresh. It's so and cute. I, the I song is it. actually really good. It's so cute. <laughs> I loved it. I really Bro, love it. We've been it. begging for cute freshness. Right? And they delivered it, and I'm just so happy. I was just not expecting for Omega X to be the group to deliver that. I don't know. That's either. what I'm saying. I was shook the whole time. The teaser image, I'm like, okay, like, yeah, it's going to be fresh, but it's still going to have some, like, uh, and maybe it's going to be like a, like a softer R and like R and B type situation where they're just like, you know, who knows? No, they were like Kelly said, no, they were frolicking. Right. They were like, dumb, yeah, summer. play dumb, dick it dumb, dumb. Yep. Friendship, boys I'll, being I'll boys. Look, at are, look at how cute you are. He I was like, so look at little pint size Kevin. Look at him. He's so <laughs> pint size in a jumpsuit and everything. I just it know that so Yuck cute. still look good. He, he look so real fine. good. He, he look real good. good. He will look good regardless Ooh. of what he do. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But there's he so could literally be in a paper sack and I'd be like, damn, he's fine. 
So Mega X had their like showcase in Korea or something or a concert. At this point, I don't know what it was, but the members of the old groups were there yeah. and they were posting on Instagram, like supporting them. That's and so I just cute. wanted to cry. I was like, damn, like, and then you That's think back. Cute. The origin of Omega X, yep, just second chance, but but it was so cute seeing that. Also, congratulations to Jehan because he's like officially got announced as the group leader. Yeah, I think this last oh, week, so love that for him, my no. boy, my beautiful crooked smile baby. I, I love, love I love his eyes. He just <laughs> <laughs> come to America. Yo, please. Omega X, come do a show over here, please. Like, woo, my God. I am so bad at names. I am sorry. I know all of y'all's faces, but The listen. names are hard. <laughs> the names is hard, okay? Also, Kevin was hopping around like a little leprechaun. He was so cute. Like, he just looked so adorable with his pink hair. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, look at you. Like a little fairy. I know. He did. Oh, and like, this oh album is actually really good as well. So, so good. It, it's so, so long, good. too. I was like, not expecting that either, and I appreciate that. Like, it's a good album. It's so good they did they good. really did that and i said i'm surprised because you know we were getting like yeah. Right? Like, yeah we're so happy we're playing tennis I, they were telling us that we were gonna go down and dirty in the south like you know like we're going to the wow. caribbean the caribbean or something and then they were just like okay we have to bring it back and like we were doing me. a little too much i had gotta... i had my bikini ready what's going on now <laughs> you gotta wear your tennis skirt now but why? Also, why y'all riding overtime on my man's cast? Was it? What? what why? <laughs> it's because like they were sad and it said time out because like yep, they were yep. all hurt and then they were like, no, we're not hurt. We're friends and friendship right, prevails. Right, but... And then they crossed it out and put overtime. Like this is extra innings, bro. We going in. And that's when all the madness, you know, it was it was the run in a slow mo hitting with all the, the yeah tennis balls. with the with the chalk bomb. Yeah, <laughs> they were so the cute. Background. They were so cute. They're adorable. I love Look, it. Look, Hangyum in the visor with the orange hair was just everything cute. to me. Cute, 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 cute. Yes, they gave us cute. We've been begging for it. And my son, my boy Ye Chen, I love him. I'm just so like. <sighs> Oh my guys just makes me so happy. One of the nine babies. All my one of the nine babies are doing so well and I'm so happy for them. Also, I was watching the news the other day and Omega X was on it and I was like, what is this? The Seattle news? Why are they here? Oh, wow. And yeah, lo and behold, they were on Como News and I was like, what is this? Oh, well, <laughs> like, damn. Why? Wow. I was like, hello? I was like, I love that. <laughs> like, why? Why are you getting interviewed by, like, my weatherman? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is that we're just like, yeah, K-pop is expanding, like, everywhere us uh, sees them on TV. Now, how the hell did y'all get there? <laughs> 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 what the fuck is this? What is this? <laughs> like, what is this and why y'all on my What TV? is this and why wasn't I hired to do it? Y'all doing K-pop content and I'm not a part of it? What is this? I'm saying, yeah. anyways, Omega X, please stand Omega X. They are just... They're so good. Remember when they first debuted it and, and they kept putting hashtag OX and I thought that was a member? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, only the OX member keeps fucking doing <laughs> She was like, you real active. You want this to work out. Oh my gosh. He was like, wow, that's a crazy name. Ox. That's a crazy name for an Never adult. forget. She didn't even say um, ox though. The fact that she put OX. Who's the OX? She didn't even like read it together as a word. It was just, I don't know what was going through my head, honestly. I just don't. But anyways, we move. <laughs> Bugaboo is also back with Pop. This song is fun. I am, I don't know if I like this or not. I like the chorus. I don't dislike it, but I dislike those outfits. I thought it was Right? Nice. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so you know in the music video, okay, first of all, whoever was editing that music video, I know that you had a hard time and you that you you were you're crazy yourself because that amount of jumps, I was like, damn. So many jumps. Um also, you know when they're dancing, <laughs> you know what that reminded me of? Y'all yeah, remember the peanuts from the Proud Family movie? <laughs> oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. Now. Oh my god. That's a that's the first thing I thought, like, when they were, like, you know, they were popping and stuff, I'm like, <laughs> they look like the peanuts. I'm dead. This bitch said the peanuts. <laughs> Bro, it was so funny. Um, But, yeah, so I think that this was, like, very catchy and a beat, but I really don't know if I'll go back to it. I uh, I just don't know. Like, like I said, I enjoyed the chorus because it was, it was, like, fun. I was like, okay, but the rest of the song, like... 
which is sad because I really liked their debut. I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. I like them. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'll probably have to just like it randomly has to just play and see yeah. see what happens. You know, like I, I can't after what happened with Stacy. I, I just, I do, I do just never know. You, you never, know just never know because I did not like ASAP, and now I'm over here ASAP. ASAP. Exactly, <laughs> going so, to KCON to see Stacy. That's how this <laughs> turned out. So maybe, maybe this song will be the same thing. I don't know. I can't say. I can't rule out that as a you know <laughs> option. Yeah. Um, but Secret Number also came back with Doom Cheetah, and this was dope. They came back with a Blackpink like song. It. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like think it. I, I wrote it on there. I was like, I think I like it because it sounds like a Blackpink it song. It sounds yeah. like a Blackpink song, and that's why I was bopping so hard to it. I was like, wait a minute. Like, literally, as they were singing, I was like, Lisa would be here, Jenny would be here, yep. this is a rose bridge. Like, I, yeah. Uh huh. Which is not anything to the girls. Like, I like it. It was a good song. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you just do a song that you know might, it's going to do well? Like, yeah, that style. Exactly. You know? Um, oh, but shout out to the rapper girl with the pink hair, whatever your name is. I'm so sorry again. Secret number. I don't know their names. Um, but she had the colorful like gem jacket at mm-hmm. one point. Oh, okay. Girl, she was going off. I mean, it shows how much I know about this group because when they their last song, I thought secret number was the name of the song, not the name of the group. I so always I, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> Bro, when they first baby, I thought so too, and I was so confused. They're low key. I, I don't think they've had their like break uh breakthrough but so they're like a very low-key new mm-hmm. group basically but yeah but i, I besides that this was dope uh, it was kind of you know we're having a super cool girl summer mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. don't mess with me like i'll fight you and i was like all right but add glitter to it that's it was yeah it that's was... a summary will i go back to it i don't know but like terica said <laughs> it's a black pink song but i liked it i didn't dislike it exactly yeah just you know had no like identity oh they got a girl from houston i might gotta support now oh this song go hard <laughs> what's her name i know her name what is her name her name uh, is denise denise yes that is correct i know her because pan is like obsessed with her <laughs> oh. yeah, her name is denise she from is she from houston and she got a soundcloud okay like they can dance oh they yeah can that's true dance like i was like oh my god yeah. Oh, but Denise left the group, though. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, I see that. It says former oh. member. Okay. So oh, we can't support them. No, they, got rid of, <laughs> they, they, got, they got rid of the Texan. <laughs> but all right, everybody, those were our comebacks for this week. That was basically our podcast. Uh, but before we leave, we want to let you guys know we do have an announcement that we'll be taking a break, like a two-week <laughs> break. We plan to be back for KPSN for the K-pop social night um podcast fest so if you don't know about it we've been a guest on it for the past like two years since it started and we're just super excited to be back we will be doing two different segments so um again you can find everything uh down in the link in the description um and that it's happening july 9th and 10th so we will like i said we'll be taking a break until then we got a lot of life stuff going on y'all we we busy we busy it's a it's a lot of just life we're trying to figure it out to our listeners yes. and the people all like that watch our YouTube content and everything, just know yes, that yes. we will be back. We just need this summer break. Okay, we need a summer break. And bitch, we ain't going nowhere. We gotta go. We gotta be at KCON and yep. Hyphen's coming back. Like, what? What do you think this is? We coming back? Yes. <laughs> yes. So we'll be back. It's just that, like, like everybody else, we need a summer break. <laughs> We're literally pulling a BTS, y'all. We still gonna be making yeah. content, just not. We gonna be active. Yeah. It's got, yeah. We'll We're gonna be active, active but, but it. The podcast itself, like, we will be taking the two-week break and expect other random shit from us, if anything. Follow us on social media. Yeah, yeah. We got, like, two weeks of back catalog of videos that, Literally, we, will posting, so that we will be posting. So, yeah. And um, also catch me <laughs> retweeting all the Changbin content every Monday That's morning rich. because when I get into work, I'm bored, and the first thing I do is log in into the Fangirls account. <laughs> yeah, facts. Um, also, you know, catch us at concerts, various concerts throughout yes. the year. We'll be there. Catch me at AB6 in Seattle <laughs> next week. I'll be there. I won't. I ain't got shit else to do. Doc. BTS done canceled all my summer plans. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, because once NCT drops that info, I want to need to hurry up. I'm feeling real sad out here, homie. BTS really <laughs> said, you know what, Terica? We're going to let you spend all your coins on NCT. We got you. Don't worry about it. Yep, yep. My charitable thing. Go see Johnny. Go get wifed. <laughs> Go get wifed. 
So, yes. Yeah, so, again, thank you, everybody, for all of your support. Just know that we Yay. are okay. It's just that, again, we have a lot of catching up to do content-wise. a lot of wise, stuff going on. And we have a lot of stuff going life-wise. on. Just life-wise. Life-wise yeah. and personally. So, <laughs> yeah. it's just a little reset. It's nothing much, okay? It's like BTS. We coming back, though, sooner than BTS. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna end this podcast like we do every week with our songs of the week this bitch Carolina is out here um, I said earlier that I've been listening to a lot of Dark and Wild and that is 100% factual I have been listening to the most hated bitch on the album War of Hormone a lot um, yes. she, <laughs> she's the pretty bitch that everyone hates they all jealous of her anyway I've been listening to War of Hormone hey. um, I've also been listening to a lot of Enhypen since the announcement of them being at KCON cause I am so fucking excited to see them specifically because I hope every day that Blockbuster is going to be performed at KCON. Um, Ooh, please. That I've been listening to Blockbuster. Um, I've also been listening. Another group. <gasps> yes. Um, I've also been listening to a lot of the boys because, you know, I was sad, so I didn't listen for, to them for a long time. But then they said, if Cass not seeing us, nobody is. <laughs> And so they they postponed my show, and they said, "Don't worry, girl, we got you. We'll see you at KCON." And then the rescheduled date, and I said, "Per period, yes, my boys." Um, so I've been listening to a lot of the boys, specifically Maverick, because it is their best comeback of all time, and Giddy Up, because y'all know that's my song. <laughs> giddy up. <laughs> I love that song. Um, but yes, cannot wait to see them and and hyping at KCON and whoever else is gonna be there. And Stacy girls, bitch, I'm gonna see ASAP live, and that's a beautiful thing to me. I cannot wait. You're right. All right. Um. So- so I have been in my feels. Like, I don't know. It just hit me. I woke up one morning and I said, y'all know who I really miss? Becky on the DL. So oh, God, right. I know. Like, it's out of nowhere. I think because Rose by um, Dio um, came on my shuffle and I was like, wow. And then I've just been listening to a lot of Becky on. So Rose by Dio. Also, bam, bam, bam. Babe, yeah. by Becky and Candy, because you know there was a whole incident. Yes. There's a whole, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about it, but y'all just y'all know y'all wrong, because y'all know y'all was real out of pocket and y'all were very inaccurate. But Candy <laughs> by Becky Young, truly. It's <laughs> also yeah. I have also been listening to a lot of Shiny, um, specifically <gasps> Lucifer oh, and oh, Ring Ding Dong, me. and then Everglow. I've been listening to a lot of Everglow, oh, um, especially Dun Dun. So yeah, Becky and Dio. Shiny and Everglow. Oh, wow, it rhymed. Ooh, circa <laughs> spinning bars. Bars. <laughs> bars. bars. Uh, for my songs of the week, I've been listening to Stacey Girls a lot. So Run To You and 24-7. I Run freaking love those two songs. Also, I am in my 17 bag as per usual. Um, I should probably just change this to my 17 song of the week at this point. But listen, <laughs> hey. I love 17 to the point that I'm literally thinking of seeing them for a second show because one is probably not going to be enough. Um, so I've been listening to um, About You, If You Leave Me, also Heaven's Cloud because that song. Um, I've also been listening to a lot of Shiny, but mostly their live album, The Shiny World 3. Uh, mm-hmm. girl so good L- that's one of my favorite mm-hmm. concert albums ever i wish more artists did like concert albums like concert yeah albums, period. god they're so good um but yeah like a fire i swear that song just brings something out of me i don't know what it is but i i do the choreo and everything i freaking <laughs> love that song and i've also been listening to um view just because i'm very i just love that it's song. the summer anthem yes so. so so yeah and uh those are my songs for this week also since we're in our stacy girls bag everyone should watch their performance from the dream concert because wow that crowd was loud that crowd was eating them up and i was like i love both them and i've and i'm like period yes the rise of the girl group yeah literally it is and um shout out to everybody that went to dream concert because apparently it was one of like the first times ever that fans didn't there was no black ocean yes that they didn't turn off their light sticks for anything like they didn't care if their batteries ran out like they left them on Mm -hmm. for every act Mm -hmm. and that is insane because we if you were in k-pop in the two like early 2000s you remember i think it was like 2005 or 2008 y'all remember girls generation black ocean it was bad like some people were like not even just for them just in general black oceans in general like even to the point where some people were even like turning away from the stage i'm like yeah so so back in the day so now you know we're at a point that everybody's just you know like fuck it even if i don't stand this group woo. also pentagon got the crowd when they did shine bro that was insane and uh, 
it just upsets me all over again but i just love that everybody loves that song so also i just love that people are embracing more of like the multi fan life like yes. it's not so oh i only stand this group like fuck yep, everyone yep. else mm-hmm. so because i saw a video on twitter i'm gonna have to find it for y'all but some end citizen was doing the whole choreo to asap and i was like you you right girl you better <laughs> yes. get shit up just like everything <laughs> like, yeah girl it's so much fun it's like so much i fun just, i love being a multi Same. just because going to festivals like is the best time because you just be every the every time. artist you're like heck yeah every artist yeah you get your money at least worth. one song that you like like i would love to go to one of those dream concerts i would have i would switch my light stick every time i'd be like okay hold on i go up to right Ed Citizens, yeah <laughs> gotta run down to the alice's yeah gotta run over to the showels yeah yep, literally <laughs> gotta be all over the place um so whether you are a multi-stand or not which you should be a multi-stand in this k-pop thing make sure you always always fangirl, fangirl on. on bye see you guys soon